Yo, doll, Kirby in the house, this is my pen. Over here we got my bed, and it's only for one use and one use only. Bouncing! Over here we got my bitch. She'll appear later in the LP. Got men and I here, and here, and here, and here. And then pancakes! And then we got these windows. Windows, bitches! I'll just, I'll just get, get the LP now. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's play Kirby's Night uh, Kirby's Nightmare and Epic Yarn. Kirby's Nightmare and Epic Yarn 64. Well, anyways, in the last episode, we had completed all the levels of the first world in the game, and I don't know why I'm going through the first world. I guess it's a little uh, pointer out that I got all the levels done. And in this episode, we're going to go to check out Hotland, which is going to be sounds like a strip club, but let's just do it anyways. There's no strip clubs in Kirby. Kirby doesn't have a penis. He couldn't get a boner. That was the weirdest thing I've ever established. Anyways, welcome back, guys. In the last... Uh, in the, I've already said that. And, uh, I know there's nothing really that's happened really between the episodes, so... Yeah. Actually... No, no, actually, no. Now, this little guy is an enemy. Indeed. I love how this yarn works. It looks like the, uh, yarn... Like the yarn. Like the, uh, sand Super Mario 64 or something. Also, the theme has changed a little bit with some of the levels, you might have noticed. And being a little yarn, some of these things don't work quite as good. Oh, that kills you! That would be painful! I don't like pain! Pain hurts! Pain hurts in my bunions! What did I drop him into? Oh, that's a uh, money bags. Money bags is an enemy. Actually, money bags is an enemy. I want to get into a little bit more. I don't know if his name is money bags in this game, but let me just establish money bags' history. He actually is not a real Kirby character. He's just I don't know why he's in this game. He's not actually a Kirby character. He originated in Super Mario 64, and I guess appeared in a lot of Nintendo games since then. And mostly Mario games, most notably. But he's in this game as well. Ouch. What you get? Bitching up all the place. Let's just go. But yes, money bags. If you kill a money bags, you will get a lot of money. If you throw something at a money bags, you will get a lot of money. Oh, okay. Let me just get this out of the way. Oh, it goes back out. Oh, no. It's one of them. Oh, no. Ouch. Really? No, I can't. Like, I want to think this is like the Jello and Yoshi story where you can, like, bounce on it and it'll, like, get all awesome. I'm just going to fly over these guys. I don't care. So as you can see, this game takes no real work. Where are you going? Oh, this pyramid here. Notice it's a little bit different in color. Well, it's obviously one of the things this guy is going to make you remove. That should actually be a character, just saying. Cactus juice. That is disgusting. This guy here is an evil little spiky thing. I don't know what the name of him is. The characters, are really, the characters really need name improvements. Ouch, sir. Also notice that he dies when you... Okay, screw it. I don't care. But anyways, also note that he dies when you, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna get myself underneath here. Uh-oh. It's as easy as I can they all get caught up in the tornado. Or sandstorm. Whatever it is. I don't care what it is anymore. My voice in heaven, I said that. Whatever. Whatever. I'm kill him with this. I don't care. I don't care. What if I can kill him with this? I don't care.
Nope. Nope. Just Chuck Testa. Guys, keep grabbing my monies. That's what I think of you. Stop freaking grabbing all the monies, you freaking enemies! I hate to do that. It gets so annoying. Oh, oh! It's my favorite part. My favorite part of the game. I love these levels. The only part is you have to race, and that's kind of annoying. But actually, you don't actually have to win. Uh, can I get myself killed? If you want to do better, you gotta do the whole level over again. Luckily, I'm good at this. And also, if you win, you will get a lot of cash. Not to mention two enemies to kill. Other than what I'll do, by the way. Also get that. Not for winning. Good job. And they all go by. And you'll see. Didn't give me enough. Quite enough. So let's go throw that at you. And had I not get hit twice in the level, I probably would have got. Okay. I'm pretty sure if you hit it, I wouldn't actually be it. No! No! You freaking piece of shit! God damn it! Oh my goodness! Oh! I'm a zombie! Damn it! Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna freaking like, throw the, uh, patch, and I will see you guys in a minute. I will do this level over again, off screen. Ooh, I love that. I think I think the best thing in the game. Oh, lava landing is actually just, I'll, I'll tell you guys after this level real quick. Just a little quick. And I will see you all in one moment. You can kill them, guys? No one tells me these things. And so I have done it. I've successfully gotten a gold rating. Not to mention all three of the pieces. I don't know what the third one was. Like, if you guys really care, I can... If you guys really care, I'll make a tutorial of that later. I will uh, go back to this game and go through all the ones that I missed. If you guys really want all those. But they aren't really important to the game. So... They are not noted. I don't know how I missed the CD thing. I always get that. But anyways, we are back. We are back. Time for one more level. I shall do. I shall do. Let's do this. This is my. F this level has one of my favorite songs of the game. Mainly because, like, when you listen to it, you just like hear someone playing this on piano. But that's besides the point. Like, you can just, like, tell exactly where, like, how it's played. Like, even if you don't know how to play piano, you can tell ex exactly the general area of where they're pressing the keys. And that's kind of cool. It's like basic piano for basic people like me. Oh, I can't do that? Okay. Oh, I get it now, okay. I'm so stupid. Yeah. 
Ouchie! Why did I do that? Scratch what I said about this being an easy game. Let's fail. Yeah, these guys are... These guys are called Bomber. Now, why do I hate Bomber? How he works in this game. And why do I hate how Bomber works in this game? He's really hard to power with. Power, control, whatever. Oh, how do you get up there? I would have helped to get. Ouchie! Bomber's also dangerous. I can't get her bomb power. In games. They can hurt you back. Oh, it actually worked. Okay. This is also a very cool level. This is just in general. I like this level a lot. This is what the game has really been good. This is one of the points where they actually did a good job in the game. That would not be a good idea. Damn it! That's the problem with Angie. As you can see, she actually picks you up when you fall into a hole. Is it Angie or Angie? I don't know. I don't speak whatever the fuck Kirby speaks. Is what I wanted. And if you pull it again, you'll see some, you, some of them don't go all the way out. If you pull it and you want to get them all out. Or something, I don't know. Oh, it's this guy. Where are you going? Let's throw this fire real quick. Oh, no, what, what the hell are you doing? You're just, like, sinking like you don't care. I got a stone one. Ouch. Aww. I have, like, no money. There they all go. There they all go. This is also one of the really cool things in the game. Uh, is this. What do you get up to that one? You get, like, an airborne one? Don't care. Could care less. Who the hell cares? Why won't you get up there? Fucking bananas! Hate you, Kirby. Fucking hate you. Oh, this part where I actually have to do something with the remote. That's cool. I forgot about this. Um. Uh, Okay, so I actually have to do some shit now. This is where I actually gotta pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. I'm a firefighter. This is also very hard to control. Um, I'm just gonna shoot this one out of the way here. This is one of the things in the game that actually has some challenge to it. The only other thing being the, uh, the railroad part, which reminds me a lot of uh, a certain Kirby game that is very difficult, yet it's very fun. And uh, we will speak of its name. It is indeed Canvas Curse. I think. Is that the name? Yeah, Canvas Curse. I guess Speak Squad and Canvas Curse confused. Because they're both like Kirby games for DS that I never really owned. Well, I, I own them. I own them both, but like I never really owned them for a long time. Like when I did finally own them, it was like a miracle. And I love them both. They're both really good games. And uh, both ones I suggest to any of the fans out there if they've never played them before. But uh, Canvas, Cur Canvas Curse is one of them little games for the DS that really takes good use of its, of its abilities. Aha! Uh -huh. This isn't a Kirby 64 moment at all. Is it actually happening? Is it actually happening? Oh my god, I forgot about this. 
I don't. I forgot what to do. I don't care about you anymore. I'm just gonna cry all day. I don't care. Never fail. This is also supposed to be a really hard level to get the thing in, so I don't know what. I already got it. I already got it. What the hell? I already got the gold rating. Somebody in this level was hard. I remember that. It's actually appropriate that I said the thing. Get over here, level. <laughs> okay. I think it's all of them. No, I missed one. Okay, cool. Okay. Don't really care. I don't know where it is. I really don't. I really don't know where the fuck it is. There's been a lot of cutting in this episode. Holy crap, Ola. That was cool. Please go over. Thank God, ah, fuck you. So I will just get the treasure and then finish the level off screen. I don't know where the treasure is, so this is gonna be a little bit of a search for me. So I'm just gonna do it off screen as well. There's a lot of off screen stuff happening in this episode. Can I just like not throw this? That made sense. That made sense. Cool. Deep levels even in the cool cave. Ah, back to freaking doing the levels over again. I forget. I swear. I swear. I I miss something every time I play this game. But this shouldn't take long. Ready? Go. Again. Uh. Oh fuck it. I don't care. Probably like out here somewhere. If anywhere. That or is it like one of the bob bomb plate? I'm calling these bob bombs from now on. They basically work just the same as bob bombs do in Mario. If anyone's played like one of the Mario games with the bob bomb puzzles, and I don't know why I'm talking about. It. Where are you? I don't care. You got fire powers, and I don't. Found it. Found it, guys. Go up here. You guys will notice this if you look around closely for it. Blow, you bitch! Just, uh, these are down blocks, by the way, which means they will fall. Uh, there's nothing beneath them to hold them up. There's also that thing I found I was looking at. Is that? So I will just see you guys after the level, I guess. Run, bitch, run! I got a freaking gold though, trying the first time I had trouble getting a gold. I have to stop trying. And we're back. And that is the end of the level. And that's. didn't get nothing. I didn't do shit. That's good. That's just what we needed. Anyways, um, in the next episode, I will... How did I get a gold rating without even trying? I swear I skipped like every other item in the game. I swear, this game. I'll worry about him later. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode, where we will do some shit. See you then.